the government side that believes that gay marriage should be legalized in the United States. We also would like to thank the members of the opposite side and our distinguished audience for being here today. Many of us have had thoughts such as, why do I have this skin color? I really don't like my body shape. I would like to be as tall as my brother is. Yet, most of us have to accept our life as it is, since we cannot change our genetic makeup. Similarly, gays have to confront their own reality. This house proposes to give the same legal marriage right to homosexual couples as those now enjoying in the traditional marriage in the United States. According to the Merriam-Western Dictionary, quote, marriage is the state of being united to a person of an opposite sex as husband or wife in a consensual and contractual relationship recognized by law. This has been the traditional meaning for hundreds of years that reflects the archaic social structure of those times. But today, millions of modern families are now headed, headed by single or gay parents. Homosexuals come in all colors, from all cultures, religious beliefs, and from heterosexual unions. Yet, we make fun of them, pick them up, and chant them from our family. As a consequence, most religious consider homosexuality a sin. Marriage, they said, is a sacred institution. But discrimination and prejudice is something we all agree is wrong. Just let me remind you that our Constitution, under the vision of Thomas Jefferson, guarantees a separation of church and state. This is why we have two separate institutions for marriage, civil and religious. This house believes that gay couples should have access to a civil marriage just like heterosexuals do with all the benefits and responsibilities that it entails. Our opponents may think that being gay is a lifestyle choice, therefore could be treated. But researchers have shown otherwise. For example, Professor Brian Manstansky from the University of Illinois at Chicago maintains that homosexuality is determined by a biological component, such as genes or hormones. Moreover, science has not proven that homosexuality is changeable, and most organizations oppose efforts to change person's sex sexual orientation. Equality is something we all cherish, and at times in our history we have wedged internal struggles. Example are civil rights for women and disabled groups. Supreme Court Justice Anthony Kennedy said in a Supreme Court decision in 2008 against Colorado's anti-gay rights referendum that, quote, homosexuals are forbidden the safeguards for other, uh, that others enjoy without constraint. This house urges to vote to make sure that all people in the United States can obtain the same opportunities without constraints. Financial benefits that apply to traditional marriages should apply to same-sex marriages. Under the current federal law, marriages, marriage offers a series of benefits not granted to unmarried couples. Some examples of this are visiting a spouse in a hospital intensive care unit, child custody, obtaining immigration benefits for non-citizen spouse, and many more benefits as we see on the screen. Of course, there are some economic costs from approving same-sex marriage, but economic benefits are greater. According to the Christian Science Monitor, Massachusetts, the first state in the country to legalize same-sex marriage has added to its coffers 37 million 
a year, 37 million. Besides that, states would also benefit from income taxes because many gay couples would have two incomes, which put them into a higher tax bracket. This is why, this is, this is no doubt that gay marriage benefit the United States economy. Our opponents may also argue that traditional marriages last longer, making this way our society better. But that argument is not correct. According to the United States Census Bureau, on average, first marriages end in divorce within the first eight years. Therefore, we cannot assume that only heterosexual unions are lasting since that is completely wrong. I have lived in a stable domestic partnership for the past 10 years, two years longer than a traditional marriage. Why is it that my partner and I cannot marry and have the same benefits? that traditional marriage has. We pay our taxes. We are good citizens, and we love this country as much as any heterosexual couple, and yet we have been treated differently. This house urges to vote to allow same-sex marriage and finally grant equal rights for all people in the United States. Thank you very much. an argument for opposition. So first of all, I want to thank you all. Uh, I want to thank you all guys for being here. I know you will pay attention to our arguments because this is, you know, a very controversial issue. So thank you very much for all being here. So at this point, I want to read the resolution. <clears throat> so this house believes, our house, the opposition believes that gay marriage should not be legalized in the United States. Why? Because of these three reasons. Number one, because gay unions go against human procreation. Secondly, because gay unions cause um, negative effects on children in terms of adoption. And thirdly, because the traditional marriage between a man and a woman has been stated since the beginning of the human race. It's just the way it is. I mean, it, has, it, it cannot be changed all of a sudden. At this point, I want to read the, uh, the actual definition of, a, of marriage. So marriage, it's a loving, committed, faithful, and procreative relationship between one man and one woman. And now, I want to read an example, an example I took from um, Gay, Gay Adoption Should Not Be Accepted, written in 2004 by, uh, by author Paul Cameron. So, he says that one nine-year-old girl whose mother, whose mother was a homosexual he said, uh, my, bio my bio biological mother is S, and my other mother is L. We lived together for a year. Before that, L lived across the street, and my mom eventually met L. L had just spoken up with someone, and we moved in together because it got complicated going back and forth every single night. All of a sudden, I felt like I was a different person because I found that my mom was a lesbian. I get angry because I can't tell anybody about my mom. The kids at school will laugh. They say awful things about lesbians. Then they make fun of me. I have told my mother that she has made my life difficult. Now, I wanna, I wanna go over procreation. procreation. First of all, I wanna remind you that every human being without exception, every human being is conceived by fecundation of egg coming from a woman and a sperm coming from a male. There is no possible way in which two eggs or two sperms can produce a baby. Dr. Chapman says, the sexual union of a man and a woman in the context of marriage has the, pot the potential of producing children and continuing with the human race. <coughs> Sexual union between two people of the same sex doesn't hold the potential. Now, now going over the uh, adoption, gay, gay parents, if, if gay parents decide to adopt a child, that child will be negatively affected. According to Daniel Garcia, the homosexual parenting is harmful for children.
children in 2004. Um, Garcia says that in terms of, uh, in terms of, so homo, of sexual development, boys need fathers so they can develop their own identity. They need mothers so they can in, so they can learn how to interact with the opposite sex. Girls need mothers so they can learn what it is to be a woman. They need fathers so they know how to interact with the people with the opposite sex. Homosexual unions also affect the orientation of the kids. Garcia points out in his article that 12% of the children raised in homosexual households tend to develop a homosexual orientation. Now, considering that homosexuals make up less than 2% of the general population, these numbers show a dramatically elevated risk. It's, lo it's logical to think that children imitate whatever their parents do. They don't know what, whether it's right or wrong. They just copy what they see, and they think it's, it's morally right, but they don't know how things are. They just they are not just uh, developing their own identity. They are just uh, copying from what they see from the parents. So another reason why homosexual parents is harmful for children is because according to a research conducted by the American Academy of Pediatrics, um, they say that dead rates were taken by examining more than 10,000 obituaries of homosexuals. The median age of death for lesbians was 40, 40s to 50s. For homosexuals, it was in the 40s. And now, most, most Americans, the average, the average, the, I mean, live, uh, average uh, for Americans live into their 70s. This was found in Gay Adoption and Abiasepsis. 